Have you ever wished you could style your entire TV website with the flexibility of CSS classes without the hassle of coding? Well, with DV's preset system, you can. And in this video, we are going to deep dive into element preset and option group presets. The two game changing features of DV5 that will transform how you build your websites. Whether you are crafting a simple landing page or massive multi-page site, understanding the difference between these presets and how you use them together will save you time, keep your design consistent and spark new creative ideas. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. First up, let's tackle element presets. Now in Divi, you work with four main element types. First is your section, then rows, columns and modules. Now element presets let you create a complete styling package of any one of these, like a burb module decked out of custom fonts, colors, spacing and effects. Think of it as a snapshot of all your design choices, saved and ready to reuse. For example, picture this, you have styled a burb module with a bold heading, a sleek icon and a perfect color combination. With element preset, you can save all those settings into one neat package. And next time you drop a blurb module onto your page, boom, one click applies that preset and it's styled exactly the same. And here's where it gets cool. You can set an element preset as default for the element type. So every new blurb module you add automatically inherits those styles. No extra work needed. Need to tweak something later? You can update the preset globally and every linked blurb updates instantly. Or if you just need one off change, override the preset for that specific element without messing with the rest. In short, element presets are your go-to for saving and reusing fully polished designs, keeping your site consistent with almost zero effort. Now let's switch gear to option group presets, a shiny new feature in DV5. Unlike element presets which cover entire element, option group presets focus on specific design properties or behaviors like typography, box shadows, borders, spacing or even fancy scroll effects. They are like modular style blocks you can mix and match across different elements. And here is a kicker. These presets aren't logged onto one style type. You can slap the same typography preset on headings in blurb module, in contact form or anywhere else. Or create a button preset with a sleek shadow and hover effect and then apply it to the button site wide, whether they are call to action modules or email opt-ins. What sets option group presets apart? They are not just about CSS styles. They also handle scripted effects like conditional logic, background videos and scroll animations, making them super versatile. For instance, you could create a shadow preset and use it on buttons, images and cards across your site. Define it once, apply it everywhere and update it globally if needed or tweak it for just one spot. Option group presets are all about flexibility and reusability, giving you consistent styles whenever you need them. How these two stack up? Let's break it down. Now, element presets are like all-in-one design kits. They capture every setting in one single element like a fully structured blurb or call to action module and bundle into a static reusable blueprint. They are perfect when you need to duplicate a complex design fast. Let's say you got a killer CTA section and you want it on five pages. Style it once, save it as element preset and deploy it with a click. Option group presets though are more like stackable style layers. They zero on the specific properties like a button's shadow or headings font and let you apply them across different elements. They are dynamic and cross element. You can keep all your buttons or headings consistent no matter where they pop up. And here is a simple way to think about it. Element presets save entire design into one element type while option group presets save individual style pieces you can use anywhere. One is a full meal and other is a buffet of ingredients you can mix and match. And just to hammer it home, option group presets shine when you want consistency in shared settings. Need every button to have same hover effect or every heading to rock the same font. Create an option group preset, apply it sidewide and you are golden. They are precise, adaptable and total time saver. <laughs> 
Now here is where the magic happens. Combining these presets into DV5 creates a workflow that's faster, cohesive and flexible. So let me show you how it's done. Step 1. Start with option group presets for foundational styles. Kicking off by setting your site's core styles like typography, colors, shadows and scroll effects. Then go ahead and save them as option group presets and set them as default. For example, create a typography preset for all your headings or button preset or your navigation menu. Now every new element you add inherits these styles automatically, layering a unified foundation without constant tweaking. Step number 2. Build element presets. Now with your foundation set, build element presets for specific layouts or modules. Say you are designing home page with multiple blur modules, perfect fonts, colors, icons and then save it as element preset. Add more blurbs, apply the preset and they will all match instantly. No repetitive styling, just pure efficiency. Step number 3. Fine tune with preset settings. Now sometimes you need to tweak without changing everything. Both presets let you do this. Imagine your heading preset is black but over an image background you need it to be white. Edit that one heading's color, it stays local and preset stays intact. Or with the element preset, maybe one blurb icon looks off. Add some custom CSS to that instance and the others using the preset don't budge. It's consistency with room to flex. So together these presets are unstoppable. And here are a few reasons for that. Number 1. Efficiency. Option group presets nails the details and element presets roll out full design in seconds. Number 2. Consistency. Shared styles sync via option group presets and element presets keep layouts identical. Number 3. Scalability. Update a preset and your whole site adjusts. Perfect for big projects. And number 4. Future proofing. DV5's roadmap promises even deeper integration, making this combo a long term win. Now DV5 preset system is already awesome, but it's about to get better. Soon you will be able to nest option group presets inside element preset. Picture this, build a blur module by stacking your typography, color and shadow presets into one element preset. Update a single option group preset and every linked element preset adjusts. It's not here yet, but when it lands, it will feel like a CSS design system in DV5's drag and drop world. Modular, powerful and effortless. Start with option group presets as your building blocks, assemble them into element presets and control everything globally with a few clicks. So that's a wrap up. DV5's preset system is a total game changer. Element presets let you save and reuse full design with no fluss, while option group presets bring flexibility and consistency to every style and behavior. And together, they deliver a workflow that's fast, cohesive and adaptable, whether you are building one pager or a full e-commerce giant. And the result? The site that consistent, not rigid, scalable but not chaotic and efficient without shortcuts. So grab the latest DV5 Alpha, play with these presets and see how these revolutionize your next project. Trust me, you will never design the old way again. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DV updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.